November Preparation, This Month's Scripture The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of His splendor. Isaiah 61 verses 1 to 3, the New International Version. Preparation for this month. When preparing for the month ahead, think about the following, embracing hope and healing during the holiday season. Food for thought. As we approach the holiday season, we find ourselves surrounded by the warm glow of festivities and celebrations. Yet for many, this time of year can be a painful reminder of loss, grief, and the weight of broken hearts. This month's scripture offers a guiding light, reminding us of the promise of healing and renewal in the face of it all. Isaiah's words speak of the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord anointing us to bring good news to the poor. Bind up the brokenhearted and proclaim freedom to the captives. In the midst of the holiday season, we can apply these teachings by reaching out to those who may be struggling, extending a helping hand to the less fortunate, and offering our love and support to those who mourn. The scripture also calls for us to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of the spirit of despair. These words remind us that healing and transformation are possible. We can exchange the ashes of grief and despair for the crown of beauty, joy, and praise, not only for ourselves, but for others as well. As we navigate the holiday season, Isaiah's words can guide us in processing our own grief and supporting those around us. In doing so, we become oaks of righteousness planted by the Lord to display His splendor, and we get to bring light to those who need it most. This month's goals. As we step into a new month, this scripture reminds us that we are anointed with a purpose, not only to better ourselves, but to bring positive change to the world around us. Let's explore how we can set meaningful goals based on this month's scripture. Proclaiming Good News Being the light in the darkness, even our own, can start by sharing positivity and good news, whether through acts of kindness or inspiring words aimed to brighten someone's day. Your goal can be as simple as sending an encouraging message to a friend each day. Binding up the brokenhearted. Reflect on the brokenness you've encountered, whether in your own life or in the lives of others. Set a goal to actively contribute to healing. Proclaiming freedom and release. Set a goal to free yourself from negative habits or mindsets that hold you captive. This could mean breaking free from a toxic relationship or quitting a damaging habit. Engage in activities that bring you joy. This can include going for a walk, finding a healthy habit, or reading scripture. Providing comfort. Establishing a goal to bring comfort to those who mourn. This could be as simple as cooking a meal for a grieving neighbor or volunteering in your church. Bestowing beauty, joy, and praise. Make it a goal to find beauty in everyday life. Cultivate joy and offer praise for the blessings you have. This might involve practicing gratitude daily or creating a daily ritual of reflection. As we enter the holiday season, be intentional with cultivating a mindset focused on establishing goals that reflect God's limitless love, grace, and His command to wholeheartedly love one another. Remember that goal setting is not a destination, but a journey. Embrace this transformative path and seize this month as an opportunity to draw closer to God illuminating the shadows within the fabric of your faith and aligning with his purpose for your life.